That's according to Andy Mitten, editor of Red Devils fanzine United We Stand, who insists several players were happy to be linked with rival teams. Marinho was eventually sent packing in December with United in disarray and floundering domestically. Under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, United have been a different beast. Mitten, however, reckons departures would have been on the cards if Marinho had stayed in charge. He told the football show on Off the Ball, I think if I was giving him Solskjaer a report so far, I'd give him full marks, he's been excellent. He's lifted the mood, the fans are much happier, the staff at the club are much happier, and they weren't happy. The players are much happier, I've spoken to several of them, and the mood at the start of December was dreadful. Several of the players were deeply unhappy to the point where they were quite happy for transfer rumors linking them with clubs like Real Madrid to go out there, however fanciful they may seem, because Real Madrid had no interest in some of the players they were being linked to. Host Johnny Ward asked, players are trying to, kind of, slightly spin stories at the times when it suits them, I don't think it's players, Mitten added, I think it's people close to players and they were not happy. Paul Pogba was not happy. Marcus Rashford was not happy. Those two players have been exceptional under Ole Gunnar and they had to be because their own reputations were on thin ice with Man United fans. Paul Pogba was not a popular person at Old Trafford amount the fans at the start of December. United dismantled Fulham 3-0 at Craven Cottage on Saturday. France international Anthony Marshall who had only shown glimpses on his talent under Mourinho, says Solskjaer has released the shackles. He's asking me to attack more, he explained. That's my job after all. To make the difference as it's were, to be more decisive, and, you know, things are working out pretty well at the moment for the other attackers as well, of course. I can only say that I hope we all continue to play like that. There's a certain degree of rotation, but I hope we can continue to be as effective and efficient and continue to play at the top level. Manchester United will lock horns with PSG in the Champions League tomorrow. The League One heavyweights will be without influential duo Neymar and Edinson Cavani, 